All right, guys, welcome to the new KD Boosted Quick Start training video. We're just gonna jump right into it here. I'm gonna show you how to get the tool set up and get your first set of data to where you can analyze a product niche. First off, the Frameworks SOP. This is kind of the master quick start guide. You can download it in a few different places. One of the main ones is under the training and SOP section right here, the quick start guide. Um, so that's what I have open here on the right. It's gonna be always your most updated reference to kind of the step-by-step -step process of running the tool and just any relevant notes uh, that you'll wanna check out when you're, when you're first getting acclimated to it. So anyway, what I'm gonna be doing here in this training video is showing you some of the new updates. So we've got a new boosted ASIN mode that's gonna actually allow you to get your competitor's search terms. Uh, as well as just get all of that competitor listing data super fast. The other thing I wanna show you in this video is the new Cellarize integration. And Cellarize is super powerful in some of the brand analytics data that you can get from there and import into KD Boosted now. Um, so we're gonna be going over that, as well as just my favorite configuration. So by far, Helium 10 uh, with Cerebro and the X-Ray reports. You can use Zonguru or, J or Jungle Scout if you have subscriptions to those, but just based on all the comparative analysis that we've done and, and consistency, Helium 10 is really the go-to. Uh, so we've got a coupon code there in the members area and underneath this video if you're watching on YouTube. You can use that to get a good discount. Same with Cellarize and same with Jungle Scout. So uh, take a look at that. All right, so I'm gonna assume that you've already watched or read the quick start guide here on how to actually get the menus to show up. There's just a few authorization steps you gotta take. And then you're gonna put in your main keyword, which we've got golf travel case here. And then you're actually gonna go and find the top nine competitive products. And then if you have a listing, we're gonna assume this 298 or 2N8 rather ASIN is ours. And you can see you're always gonna put, if you have an ASIN that you're doing research on, you're gonna put that as the first ASIN there. So, uh, and all this is outlined in this SOP. I'm actually gonna kind of expand this so you can get a better view. Step one, enter your main keyword. Step two is you're gonna find your top 10 ASINs. What you can do is use this menu here. This step one is actually gonna take you right to Amazon. So I'll just show you that really quick. So you can see when we ran this step one, it essentially just opens you up to the Amazon search results page for that keyword. And then I've opened the Helium 10 X-ray tool. And then I'm gonna run a filter or a sort rather on revenue just to get everything kind of in the right order from highest to lowest. And then the key is you're gonna to wanna to pick the top nine competitors that have the best like buyer intent, most related to your product. And then uh, just copy the ASIN so you can use this little button right here is what I do. You wanna pay attention to the sponsored listings, you can skip over those. You can actually remove them too if you wanna unfilter them from the settings, but the goal is there to pick the top nine competitors or if you're doing like product research, you can pick obviously 10. The trick is you just wanna make sure you have 10 here and you're just going to copy and paste those guys right into this section and then you are done with step one. The next step is you are gonna to wanna to log in to any of the tools you're gonna to wanna to use. So if you're gonna pull Amazon reports, log into Seller Central. If you're going to pull Helium 10 reports, log into Helium 10 and Sellerize as well. Um, so I've already done that. So I'm ready for step two, which you're just gonna hop back up here and you're gonna click download new data. Now, before I do that, let me explain a couple things here. Because I have this boosted mode on, it is gonna to go to the special Amazon report pages that we're gonna download for the listing data. If I'd have that actually off, it's going to default back to whichever SaaS tool I've got as the main primary uh, keyword data source here in green. Um, so for Helium 10, for example, it's gonna take me to the Scribbles pages if I have this boosted mode off to download the listing data. And then in the user guide, there's a there's a explanation on kind of how to download those if you'd rather use that mode. But this boosted mode is really slick and that's what I'm gonna be going over in this video. For now, boosted mode's enabled. So that's gonna be my ASIN files. I've just got those checked right now. Um, I'm not gonna worry about some of these extra Amazon-centric reports. There's extra training on that to do those independently. Right now I'm gonna focus on the Cerebro and the two x-ray files. The reason we need the second x-ray file is if one or a few of these ASINs that we've chosen are not on the first page, then you're not gonna get all of the uh, sales data and whatnot in the first primary x-ray report. So that's why you need potentially a second one. Now, if all your 10 ASINs are captured in that first x-ray report we're gonna download, then you don't need the x-ray two, and you can just uh, uncheck that one. Then we've got our Cellarize 
checkbox down here at the bottom. So those are gonna be the reports we're working with. The way the key, Keyword Dominator is built is you can check on and off the reports that you wanna integrate with. And then uh, after you have the first copy set up and you're gonna create a copy for each product. So if you have you know 10 ASINs in your Seller Central account, you may have 10 Keyword Dominator files. And then the intent is once you have it set up the first time for each file, it becomes a lot easier to maintain it going forward. But what we're gonna do now is just go and download some of this data and then we're gonna import it into the system really quick. So um, all I'm gonna do is come up here and hit download new data. All right, so for this first Amazon report, you can see it opened us back to the Golf Travel Case search result page. And I'm just going to run the Helium 10 X-Ray and go ahead and download a X-Ray report. So just click on this little download button down here at the bottom. And if you're using Google Drive for desktop, you can actually like sync your Google account to your local PC and you can click directly to the Google Drive. All right, and because this is a Helium 10 report, you're just gonna double click on H10 and we're gonna name this XR, just capital XR, and it'll go ahead and uh, put the extension for the CSV automatically on there. So I'm just gonna hit save. And now we can just X out of this tab here and move on to the next one. All right, next it opened us up to this special search page with the 10 ASINs that we've chosen. I just opened another X-ray report and I'm gonna download this guy to the exact same subdirectory for the Helium 10. And I'm gonna name this one XR2. So you can see it keeps us in the Helium 10 folder, which is really nice. So I'm gonna name this XR2 and hit save. All right, so now it's time for the Cerebro report, which is also another Helium 10 report. You can just see I've got the 10 ASINs. Our ASIN actually shows up here in the first position. Uh, for the search volume, I like to do either like a 100 or 300 minimum search volume. Whatever gets this filtered keywords down to about 2000 is what I end up going with. So I'll try 100 there and hit apply filters. All right, so you can see just over 2,000, that's good. I'm gonna hit export data. Make sure you don't hit the export data next to word frequency. You wanna actually grab the table of data down here. So I'm gonna hit export data and then I'm gonna pick CSV file. All right, and then the name code for this one is just capital CR. So I'm gonna hit save. All right, now we're at the Amazon reports. So these tabs should open in the same order you see here. So like the first one's gonna be RASIN2N8 and then KX2. Uh, and all you're gonna do is just go through each one and if you double click on the ASIN here in the URL and then hit Control C or I think it's Command C on a Mac and then you click one time down in here and then hit Control S or Command S, that's the save hotkey. You should open up your save as window here. We need to go to the Amazon folder because this is an Amazon report. So I'm just gonna double click there. You can see I've already got these saved. So I'm just gonna do one here as an example, but you can see 298, or, or I'm sorry, 2N8 is our first one, which is our ASIN right there. So you, what you're gonna do is just click one time and type the number one, underscore, and then control V, paste that in. Uh, so you can see that's gonna overwrite that. So I'm not gonna do it, but we're just gonna buzz down through and do that same process, All right? So this would be two underscore and then paste the ASIN all the way to where you have all 10 of them. So I'm gonna do that really quick and I'll be right back. All right, so last set of reports, we wanna grab our Sellerize reports. This first one, you can see it opens to the Keyword Hunter, so you're just gonna hit Download Report. And instead of Helium 10, we're gonna back up one to the Keyword Sources New folder, and we're gonna to go to Other. All right, and you can see the naming scheme here. So SR is gonna be the Keyword Hunter, and then the ones with the ASINs here are gonna be the re-ranker files. So for this one, we would just name it SR, right like that, and hit Save. I already got it saved, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So this next one, you can either copy the ASIN from here or the URL bar. I'm just gonna copy it from there. I'm gonna hit download report. And then all I'm gonna do is type in SR underscore and then paste that ASIN in there. And then once you have all 10 of those, you're good to go and ready to import all the data into Keyword Dominator. With the downloading, it's gonna download and take you to the right page based on the checkboxes. Similarly, it's gonna import only the data that you have checked. So right now, I've got all of this data checked. To illustrate that, I'm going to deselect the Sellerize reports. Even though we have them saved, it's not gonna import them on this first import. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and click Import Data. All right, so there you go. You can see you get a import status prompt when everything is imported successfully. And if we scroll down, you'll notice that our Sellerize report was actually not imported because we didn't have it checked. Um, so this is an example of, let's say now I wanna go and import the Sellerize data. Uh, it may be you know, a day from now or it could be in the same session. So I'm actually gonna deselect these checkboxes so I don't import 
any ASIN data and overwrite what we currently have. And I'm just going to check my Sellerize checkbox here. And then I'm gonna come back up and just hit import data again. And because Sellerize is the only one I have selected, that's gonna be the only data that's gonna get imported into the system. All right, so once you get the confirmation there, you'll also see if you click on this import uh, status, you can see all of our uh, Sellerize reports came in fine. So at this point, we really have all the data kind of in the background. We haven't built out a target keyword list yet or really done anything. We've just imported some initial data. Um, so to actually start building your keyword list out, you're gonna click on the keyword source icon down here, and it's gonna hop you over to the next page where you can select from kind of all the different keyword sources. Now we have imported our Sellerize data. So if we click on this plus icon, you're gonna see the Sellerize data is in here. At the top, you're gonna have the Keyword Hunter data, and then as you scroll down, it appended the ASIN level re-ranker data. So super powerful brain analytics data that the Sellerize team is exporting. And it's just a huge improvement into Keyword Dominator being able to see some of this information, especially next to like Helium 10 data. So anyway, to start importing from Helium 10 is you can come over here and expand the Helium 10 section. We're just gonna come up to the Keyword Dominator boosted menu and go to step four, which is add keywords to target list. And we're gonna pick Helium 10 as our main keyword source and we're just gonna click add Cerebro keywords. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna pull in the Helium 10 data that's currently in the background. It's gonna assign this score threshold, score minimum and alpha threshold criteria. And this is a good default criteria. You can kind of tweak these numbers if you want. You can hover over each one to get an explanation of what they are. Uh, but in general, it's a good place to start. And what this kind of operation here is gonna do, I'm gonna pick a no because this is my very first keyword list in this copy. If I pick the yes, uh, it would actually append any of the keywords that met our criteria. So I'm gonna click no on this case since it's our first one. And it's gonna move them over to our target keyword list, which is on this third tab down here. So what you have here, we've added 116 keywords to the target list, and that was from the Cerebro tool. You can see our uh, listing content right here. We've got our search terms. We've got our competitor search terms in here as well. So there are top nine competitors off here to the right and if we scroll further to the right you can see rank data you can see uh, search volume credit for the top 10 and top 30 position um, there's a few other uh, optional columns that you can display so there's a title search volume for exact phrase form and there's exact search volume credit for the entire listing and then there's a permutation search volume credit so to enable all of those you're going to just check those boxes and then click this little compare ASINs and then it's gonna display those extra columns. All right, so there you go. You can see the extra columns that displayed. Now, what really is different now that we have the uh, competitors search terms is especially the permutation search volume uh, because those search terms, especially the single words when they permutate with all the other words in phrases in the title and bullets, they get a lot more credit for uh, different different phrases. So now we can compare those against ours and really get an idea of how we're stacking up with the search terms included. So super powerful. There's also quite a bit of keyword kind of analysis data if you click this listing dashboard. So that section is gonna slide down and you'll see like some benchmarking for the titles and bullets. Uh, there's percentages of how, how much is indexed for the search volume is concerned. And we've got different keyword rank thresholds and kind of where you're stacking up versus the competition. You also got the keep a price tracker down here so you can keep an eye on your competitor's price history. So I definitely want to cover a few more things on this dashboard. But before I get to that, I want to show you a couple other things I always like to do when I'm running Keyword Dominator. And the first one is run the alpha ASIN operation. So we're just going to go back here to our Cerebro. And we've got all of these up here selected right now for the alpha ASIN criteria. And what's essentially going to do, it's going to move any keyword that hasn't been moved yet that's ranked in position 10 or better. And these are gonna be ones that usually are, there's just one or two ASINs here uh, that are ranking in, in position 10 or better for whatever reason, but we still wanna see those. So uh, it's really easy to do. All you'll do is come up here and whichever ones you have selected, uh, you're just gonna click add alpha ASIN under the Helium 10. And you'll get a prompt there. You can just hit okay when you're done. And that just means everything's been added to our target keyword list. So I'm going to actually minimize this now. And the other thing I like to do because I did import my Sellerize data is I'm going to go ahead and expand that just by clicking the little plus button there. 
And you can see all our Sellerized data here. If I click this already on target list, you can see anything that's green means it's already on the keyword list. But if I want to throw a filter around this, I'm just gonna come up to filter source tables and I'm gonna click Sellerize. All right, and you'll see it just puts a kind of table filter around this data. And now I can click this button here and I can actually sort it. Um, and I'm gonna put the white at the top and that's gonna give me anything that's not already on the target keyword list up here towards the top. So. Uh, what I can do if I just want to put all of these on there is I can just go ahead and drag this and now you can see I just stopped there at the green there where we've already added the keywords and I'm just going to click add keywords to target list and I'm actually going to click add manual keywords. So add manual keywords is going to add pretty much any of the other keyword sources that have the checkboxes here uh, that aren't kind of your core competitor style uh, keywords like your Cerebro, Zonguru, or uh, Jungle Scout's another one that's kind of a primary competitor keyword source. But these other ones, you just kind of all add the keywords to the target list in the same manner. And just like that, they are added to the keyword list. And there may be duplicates here on the source tab, but there's not going to be duplicates on the listing wizard tab. So uh, when we come here, you can always be confident that your keyword phrases are just showing up one time. So now we have a really good comprehensive set of keywords on here from a couple different sources. Now if I scroll over, I'll show you this sellerized data for the first time, and it is really slick. So what I really like is this is from the you know Amazon-centric brand analytics data. Your search frequency rank, the lower number, the more popular kind of the search term. Uh, saturation, you've got the conversion rate, clicks, sales. So this is the number of sales Brain Analytics is telling you. And I really like how Accelerize has done this with the other sales percentage. So this is the percent of sales that is coming from the listings that are not in the top three positions. So the lower the percentage here, obviously the worse, because that's gonna mean that those top three positions are really getting all the sales, where uh, if you see a higher percentage here, it means you have a lot better chance to uh, make sales, even if you aren't ranked in those top few positions. So super powerful metric there. And then up here, we have the ability to pick from our top 10 ASINs and see with that sellerized data, how they're performing on their you know top performers and the number of sales you know they've got the number of days even that they've been logging that data and then the conversion rate so a really slick kind of quick dashboard that you can toggle through the ASINs especially when you're optimizing your listing and really hone in on the top competitors and some of the keywords that are performing well for them. Um, so a few other things that I'll do here real, really quick, just to give you a quick example, you've got PPC performance, search query performance, brain analytics. One of the really nice things about Keyword Dominator is you can uh, maintain this sheet you know, into the future. And if you wanna update this maybe twice a month, something like that to see what new keywords have came in from the different sources, it makes it really easy to do. So. Um, I'm going to hop back here to the settings tab and just bring in a few optional uh, data sources here. I'm not going to go through the actual saving process, but uh, you can go over the guide and kind of learn how to do that. But if you recall, the last import we did was for Sellerize Report. I'm going to go ahead and deselect that. And I'm going to actually select our search query performance, search term impression. I'll do our advertising reports and we'll bring in brand analytics. All right, so once you have those saved, which I already have those saved in our Keyword Sources new folder in the appropriate folder, all these are Amazon-centric reports, so those are gonna go in the Amazon folder. They're gonna be named right here with the name codes, and you can see uh, the file extensions here. A couple of them are actually Excel files when they get downloaded from Amazon. Uh, but I'm just gonna go up here right now and click Import Data into KD Boosted. All right, so you can see these reports are coming in. You get a confirmation kind of as they get imported into the system. One thing I'll mention at this point, this file import move mode up here right below the boosted mode under the configuration settings. If you check that box, uh, what it's gonna do as it imports the files into Keyword Dominator, it's gonna actually move them from that Keyword Source new folder structure to the Keyword Source imported folder structure. And what that does is it really keeps that new folder structure pretty much clean and empty of all the files you know, as you use them. And that makes it really easy to manage multiple Keyword Dominator copies. So you can see all of these imported successfully. And what we can do now is head over to our Keyword Source tab and we can look at the data that got imported. So here's our search query performance report. Similarly, how we did the Sellerize, you could throw a filter around here. And then I can click this to see what's already on the list. And then I'm just gonna sort, and I'm gonna sort by white, and that's gonna put anything that's not on the list up towards the top. If I wanna move any of this, I could go down one by one and look for like relevancy and just move that. Or um, if I wanna move all of them, another trick, you can hit Control-C and copy the checkbox. 
and just kind of scroll down to the green there. Control V to paste. I also brought in brand analytics. So I could do something similar there. I'm just gonna pick a few to kind of give you an example. And then the idea is you can you can do this for all of these keyword sources with these checkboxes and then just hit this add manual keywords one time and it's gonna move everything all at once over to your target keyword list, kind of remove all the duplicates, refresh all the data. So really efficient and handy for managing all of these keyword sources. All right, so once you get that prompt, you can just hit OK, and you're good to go over to the Listing Wizard tab now and start managing things. So a couple other new additions is we have the section over here off to the left that monitors how many times uh, each keyword shows up in your listing, and we've added a title permutation column here with a checkbox. And what that means is far left here is pertaining to exact phrase form keywords in your title where this one here is gonna look for single words and if they're not grouped together in exact phrase form, it's still gonna show you uh, if you would get credit for that if it was like a permutation keyword. So maybe the first word in the phrase is the beginning of the title, uh, the second word in the phrase is in the middle, and then the last word in the three word phrase is at the end. You'd still get a check mark there so you know that you'd likely get credit for that keyword and get indexed for it. And that's what that means. We've also got some of the new Helium 10 columns that they've been adding to the Cerebro report, which are really helpful. So you've got some brand analytics column, you've got their keyword sales. If you have a, I believe it's a diamond plan, uh, and then they've got the PPC bid estimates that they've added. So that's kind of there behind the scenes. So now that we've synced our PPC data, we also synced our search query performance data. You can see now that those sections are populated in the tool. And again, easily enough how we imported them, we can keep these updated if we wanna go back and reference them in the future just by uh, importing just that data. And then we click that listing wizard sync button to pull in the new data. We've got some brand analytics there, data there as well. Uh, we've got the Sellerized data that we went over. So the last thing I want to cover in this video is a really powerful way to optimize your search terms. And it's basically using some of these green, light green tools over here on the right. We've got a designated video that goes over listing optimization and how to use these in a lot more detail. Uh, but one of the best ways you can optimize your search terms is by using this rank more list and this process search term and dedupe section up here. So I just want to run through a quick example of how to do that. Basically the whole intent of getting all this data in one spot and being able to analyze it quickly and efficiently is uh, you go through and you can rank kind of a priority scale. Like I, I use the number one for anything that's really highly relevant and that I want to definitely get in my listing. Uh, maybe the number two for complementary terms that have a good chance of converting but may not be exactly ultimate relevance. And then a number three would be any like branded terms or just not relevant terms that I'm not going to want to work on. And then once you have that kind of scale built out, you can really sort this priority column along with the search volume and some of these other metrics to really figure out the targeted keyword list that you really want to go after. And then what you're going to have at the end is anything that doesn't have a color basically means it's not in your listing right now in phrase form. So anything that is not in your listing, we could push up to the top by sorting this again by color and just do a fill color by white. And what you're gonna do is once you've optimized things as good as you can, you're gonna take all of these keywords. I, I know like this Amazon international shipping, that's not gonna be a good keyword, but I'm just, for the sake of this example, let's pretend all of these keywords here are ones that we weren't able to get in. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about some of these numerical ones. So let's just grab this group of keywords here. I'm gonna hit Control C and I'm gonna copy that. And I'm just gonna click one time right here and hit Control Shift V and that pastes that data into this list for me. All right, now I'm gonna go up to the menu and I'm gonna use this search term optimizer and I'm gonna hit process phrase list. And this is just gonna take this list and put it in this cell here and kind of concatenate all the values together in one character string. And I'm just going to now copy all of this information and pretend for a second that I could put all of these in my search term field and Amazon would allow it. Granted, they're not going to because it's gonna be way more bytes or whatever they call it. So in this case, it's gonna be 1,396 bytes for all those keywords. You see it turned purple because I've got all of them in phrase form here in my search terms. And that is the idea. We wanna to try to get credit for as many of these as possible, but we're obviously not gonna be able to with that limit. So in order to kind of make the best of it, we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna head up to the Keyword Dominator Boosted Menu, uh, Search Term Optimizer, Optimize Search Terms. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna dedupe this entire character string and it's gonna look at our title and our bullets. 
and look at all the single words and take out all the permutations for all of the phrases that we just wanted to rank for and only give us what's left, meaning what's not already in our title or bullets. And we're gonna make that now our search terms. So I'm gonna copy that. Obviously you'd wanna go through and make sure you don't have any violations like competitor brand names, which I think I probably do in some of these. And you, you wanna go through one by one and really inspect your search terms you're coming up with, but this is gonna really help. And you can see now that we put that in, this purple is gonna go away because we've just got the singular words, but we're still gonna get credit for them because we've got all the permutations when they merge with all the other single words in our listing. You can see there, that's almost perfect. So 247 characters, granted I've got the word Amazon, I've got some other kind of words in here that probably are like Samsonite's probably a branded term. So you're gonna wanna pull some of those out, but um, you get the idea. So it's really, really powerful operation there that you can get a lot of bang for your buck on optimizing your listing really quickly. One other feature that's really one of my favorites is this bulk action. So you can see there's quite a few bulk actions that we've got right now pre-programmed and a lot of these tie back to actually the settings tab. One of my favorites is just this competitor's winners. So you can see it's going to show us any keyword where the competitors rank less than 15 position and my rank is above position 15 or not ranked at all. Similarly, how I'm going to do an example with this one, we could also use the high potential list filter or my top performers filter and you can change these values as you see fit. But I'm gonna go back over here and just to show you how this works. And I'm just gonna click this action button here and it's going to quickly filter my list just for those keywords that I'm not ranking for really well for yet, but my competitors are, so I'm gonna hit okay. All right, you'll get a prompt that the filter was applied. You can just hit okay and you are gonna see that these checkboxes fill in. And the reason they fill in is at this point you can change this bulk action to save list. And if we click the action button again, it's gonna actually save this list to a just an export file that gets saved in our FBA Excel export files folder. And you can use that for PPC campaigns, you can use it for uh, future listing optimization, whatever you want. You can see it saves the search volume, your organic rank position, some other columns there as well. It's just going to create that file, save it and kind of remove it. All right, so one other export that I really like is the ad tactics export. So if you are using ad tactics to manage all your PPC campaigns, you're definitely gonna to wanna to know about this. Essentially, all you have to do is filter this keyword dominator for whichever set of keywords that you're going to want to export to Ad Tactics and make sure the checkboxes here are checked. And then from the drop down, just pick the Ad Tactics report, click the button. It's going to export the, the report to your FBA Excel export files folder. And then that's the report that you can import into Ad Tactics dashboard and really keep a close eye on those keywords. You can quickly build out your PPC campaigns in a matter of just a few seconds. Um, you can really use those for optimizing your bids and setting different rules to really move those in the right direction. So I hope you guys are getting the power of Keyword Dominator. These new additions with Sellerize, with some of the keyword research metrics from Helium 10, some of these new bulk actions that we've added, the search terms from your competitors. I mean, it's really incredible some of the data that you can really lay in here and just get a really clean look at how the competitive landscape's looking and build your strategy around this data. It's, it's, it's really slick. So I'd invite you to sign up for our $1 trial. I can't promise you how long it's gonna be going on, uh, but if you do see it below this video, make sure you click it and give it a try. I don't think you'll regret it. Thanks.